Uh, thank you very much, Chair. Uh, my friends and colleagues, uh, it is a great honor for me to speak in this information meeting on the World Water Development Report 2018. As you may know, the World Water Assessment Program, WWAP, was launched in the year 2000 by Director General Mr. Matsuda as his flagship program. Ever since, Japan has been one of the most active contributors uh, to the program. Uh, taking advantage of this opportunity, I'd like to briefly touch upon Japan's experience on nature harmonized water management. I start my story with cherry blossoms. As you may know, cherry blossoms are now in full bloom in Japan. And uh, actually, you know, our ancestors utilized the cherry blossoms for the protection of the river banks. Well, you know, cherry trees are often, well, a lot of cherry trees are planted along the rivers in Japan. And because of the attraction of cherry blossoms, a lot of people came to river banks. And, uh, you know, what is important is because of the number of people who come to the bank and they stamp the bank soils, they made the soil of the bank very, very hard. And this is, of course, you know, very useful for bank protection. And this is one of the wisdoms of the Japanese ancestors. Uh, people in Japan actually, you know, traditionally uh, devised a sort of, you know, uh, system. Sorry. Uh, uh, for locally local environment management, and that is called Satoyama. Uh, well, literary translation of Satoyama is local hills. And with Satoyama system, Japanese people established, uh, you know, uh, the harmonized nature harmonized system for the protection of, you know, the uh, disasters. Uh, in other words, the sustainable management of the environment in harmony with the natures, and thereby prevented the sediment disasters in the locality. And today, the function of Satoyama, as you may be aware, is re actively re evaluated in Japan, you know, uh, to apply Satoyama in today's context to achieve the goal of sustainable development. In October 2016, the first Asian conference on uh, biocultural diversity was held in the Ishikawa Prefecture of Japan in cooperation with the United Nations University. In the occasion, a uh, field exercise by excursion was arranged, and many participants experienced uh, what Satyama is on the site. I hope that you know, Satyama could be one of the models uh, that can provide an idea for sustainable development and harmonization with the nature. In Japan, actually, efforts for conservation of Satoyama are being reactivated, and the government will be taking initiative. Uh, for example, the government has promoted activities for promotion of environmentally friendly and sustainable agriculture in Japan under the basic law on food, agriculture, and rural areas. Acted, enacted in 1999. And the headquarters for water cycle policy was also established in the cabinet, and this is chaired by the Prime Minister himself. And the headquarters coordinates nationwide efforts to take necessary measures for water cycle in Japan. I hope that this Japanese experience would be of any help for our colleagues in UNESCO, and I assure you, Japan remain committed for promoting uh, our common efforts for achieving environmentally friendly and harmonized measures for achieving sustainable development goals. We remain committed to this field together with all of you. I thank you very much.